Hi, Rob Rowan here. We're getting ready for a very exciting game. The Calgary Selects, unbeaten, playing the Minnesota Stars, also unbeaten. Very big game. And this uh, great game is brought to you by Autobach, quality manufacturer of power wheelchairs. Quality for life, that is their motto. Started in 1919 uh, and have been around about 90 years, or 1918. They're 50 years in the U.S. anniversary, and, and I have a, a guest here, and who do we have here? Uh, I'm Chad Wilson, I play for the Minnesota Yes, Saints. Chad, I've been watching you for the last game. You were frustrated a little bit with that game, but uh, you've been a great player out there. Yeah, they played some tough D in that game. Uh, it was just, I, we, we're gonna have to have a different game plan next time. It, I feel like we were getting the hang, hang of it at the end more, uh, handing off to Josh Toy and having to shoot a little bit more. Yes. They were, they were closing you down, and uh, you got to have to figure out some some other way to, to open it up so that they can't cover you like that. That yeah, was pretty exactly. pretty good. We have a great game here. Uh, Calgary and uh, and Minnesota, just uh, what a matchup. And we've seen the how good this Calgary team is. But the, um, I haven't seen actually seen these stars play before, so I'm excited to see what they can do. I, I've seen uh, both the teams play each other before. Actually, in 2006, the Cup Championship was these two teams. Ah, so let's... And the Calgary beat them like 4-1, to I, I think. Okay, well, look at that. Uh, Chris Cram, stick handler there in the front, yep. uh, up against Nathan Groskopf. And we gave Nathan the uh, player of the game when, in the uh, game we saw with uh, uh, the uh, Calgary Select. I'm trying to remember what, who they played. It's been, been one of those days, you know, game after game. Yep. Um, Toronto Rock. And it was really a, a good game. Yeah, it was a good game, so it kind of it fell apart a little bit at the end. So it's yeah. Kind of All right, well, digging out in the corner, Falconer, we know he's a tough player, and gets it to Sean Bonds. Is that uh, 61, I believe? Yep, Sean Bonds. And, they, and down in Calgary territory for the. And here comes Nathan to dig it up. I'm going to be interested to see what, what's going to happen here with these two teams. It's going to be a battle, I think. Yeah, for sure. I don't think it's going to be a one-sided affair like the last time they, they went. Okay. Mike gets a hold of it, and he's pulling around the end. And he's a, he's a great player. I'm sure he played. Look at that. He puts it up. There you go. Steve. Well, Steve Watson didn't even see that one coming. That was a beautiful one-timer. And now Mike Falconer for the first goal of the game. Once he gets a hold of it, you're not getting away from that guy. No, that, that was a sweet shot, and that shows you how, how a, a strong a player he is. Definitely uh, the strongest, strength-wise, the strongest player out here. What could Steve have done about that? Not much, that's Steve's one weak point is, is the high shots, but on the ground, you're not, ground shots aren't going on Steve Ots. Yeah. I believe him to be the best goalie in, in the tournament. Yeah, he's been playing goalies since 96. And uh, the star's down by one, but uh, let's see if they're going to... Meanwhile, the pressure's back on there. Right behind the net, Mike trying to get a hold on it. It was bouncing there, but he's surrounded by star's players. Chris Cram is a, is a good uh, stick handler. Let's see what he can do. To, and he clears it down. And the referee gets a chance. The official gets out of the way. All right. There goes Mike. And Chris breaks it up. Oh. Nice pass there. The Stars seem to really great up That's what they're built upon. So what the relationship with Luke Peterson and uh, and uh, Chris, it looks like they probably have worked together quite well. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah, he also works very well with uh, Wayne Bayer there in the corner. Yeah, Wayne Bayer, forward, also playing a long time since 1994. He's got a good all-around game. Yeah, they're definitely a, vet a veteran team, though. Look at this. Sean Bonds is covering. And in a back shot. Oh, it was a beautiful looking shot, but there were just too many red jerseys between, and they clear it out. Calgary's doing good with putting congestion in front of the net to stop Chris Graham's long shots. Oh, and there's Chris to clear it out again. And uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Here comes Sean to pick it up. That's yours, Wayne. All right. Going back, going back. A lot of pressure. Wayne Bauer putting on, and they clear it back down the other way. And behind the net. 
So let's see what happens here. It's hard to see. They have, by the way, Keith Povinace is uh, playing defense for the uh, for the select. Mike trying to find some open room there, and he's being smothered, but he still gets it down there. It's in the corner. And uh, we have yet to see Nathan do his stuff, but we know how def how you know deadly he could be out there. He really turns his game on at the end of when it's tied. And they call whistle calls to play dead. I they're gonna have a face off here. And what is the call? Is there a I'm just gonna bring it out I here. Just, I think they just had it in the corner there and they called it because somebody was playing it. Mike and Chris, Chris, here they are, battling, see what happens. Felker's very deadly on the face-off. Yeah, he got gains control of that face-off. I don't know if you saw that Kevin Kassara, he's a great face-off. Uh, yeah, he's one of the few guys that strength-wise in the, the face-off circle, I think he could he stood up to Falcon pretty well. Yeah, and he uh, he, he actually uh, almost put a couple goals in right off of a face-off. Yeah, he almost got one of those on on myself. Yeah, great great player, great underrated uh, player, but I think we're going to see a lot more of him as he. Yeah, I, this is for, this is the first I've seen of him. Uh, great great goals for sure. Good shot. That's behind the uh, select net. Peterson trying to dog him. Trying to find a way to get that puck back, and here's Bauer, and he puts it out to Falconer, and Chris Graham brings it back in, and a shot on goal! Just wide! Oh my gosh! That was a beautiful move by Chris, so quick. Yeah, that's how he scores most of his goals. Hey, get over there, Chris. Just that green, probably the best long shot. Well, I'll tell you what, that uh, Fizel has a great long shot. Oh, I saw that, how far, I, I saw one today. Oh. He was like on the, on the other end. Yeah, almost. shot! Oh, Steve Hudson with a little bit of luck there was able to keep that out of the net. It may have hit the post, but that was a close shot there with a back backhand there. And here comes Chris gets it down and uh, gives the stars a little breathing room there. Oh, there it goes in the back. Who's that on defense playing? Uh, is that uh, in the corner there? Trying to number 17, uh, Craig McClellan, of course. Yeah, he's great, 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 great player, and he's a co-founder of the Power Hockey USA. Great guy, done so much. I just couldn't see him when he had his back to us. Up, oh, trying to dig it out here, right near us. There's a big battle going on. Mike, Chris, and Luke Peterson, and Nathan—they're all fighting for it. And, and there it is, it's Chris Bauer trying to keep control. And he's got to be careful there. And he's got a great way there if he can clear it out, and he does. And it goes down into uh, select territory. Wow, I'll tell you what, this, this game is going around, and we have a one nothing game here still with the uh, select having that first goal. All right. Yeah, the Stars are still in great position. They're, in my own experience, they, they're no, they start pretty slow and they pick it up as the game goes on. Yeah. So we, we'll see if that. Oh, it's continues. his brother. That was Sean, I think, with that one, and it went off of uh, Anson's chair. But uh, no luck on that one. Calgary's doing well right now, oh, covering all three down. players. Great job, mate. I like the way they're playing defense on him. He gets past one, and then another guy's there. And, Chris Crab with a chance here. He puts oh. it out. And it is blocked there by Bobonese. Oh. 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 And it bounces off the post. Wow. That was some shot. Wow. I thought that was another one right there for sure. <laughs> there was just a little bit of luck that that didn't go in. It bounced. Give him a little space and he'll throw one of those up. Yeah, they. I, I, you almost have to play another defender back there sometimes. Yep. Chris trying to uh, get a pass to uh, Gruskoff. That's the one. And it is. They whistle it dead there. The one weak point of having the defender play up is those very long shots where the defender doesn't have time to get back and help out the goalie. Dead chair. Yeah. Oh, we have a dead chair. And uh, I think it's Steve Odson whose chair is dead. The goalie. It was a dead chair from the goalie. Uh, that's. Uh, the official word there, we can hear that coming out. So uh, tell me about your, 
How long have you been playing this sport? Uh, I think about five years. Uh, I've been playing in the Minnesota Power Hockey League, uh, which we play in the summer. We play every, Saturday, every other Saturday. And uh, 2000, 2006 is my first uh, like tournament, international tournament. Yeah. The Canadian, where we went to uh, Calgary, and I don't know, that didn't go too well. We got uh, fourth out of six. And ha how long have you been in a chair? Um, I've had my chair for about like as long, about as long as I played hockey. Like, for okay. Six years, so. So you, were, you, you had uh, need of a chair, and then you said, I got to go find a sport? Is that the story? Because I would know that people, a lot of people find themselves with some situation that changes their life, and they find themselves either a manual or a power chair. And, it's, and I always want them to hear that that's, their life is not over, so that's why I'm asking these questions. Well, I have uh, Becker muscular dystrophy, and every summer I go to uh, muscular MD dystrophy camp. camp. Oh, yep. great, great experience. And uh, I actually went to the same one that Craig went, like Craig and all those guys. Like that's basically where they started their need to want their, their want to play power hockey. So I've known about it since I was probably six or seven about power hockey. So as soon as I got my chair, I was right, You're right there, there, right there, ready to play. Like that's a great, that's a great story. Well, uh, we know about MD, uh, the founder of our uh, company, Elio Navarro, has muscular dystrophy, and, oh, really? and uh, in fact, uh, he uh, married uh, our uh, big support person and uh, C, uh, uh, what do you call, COO of the company. They met. She's able-bodied, and they met at at uh, MD camp. Oh, really? Oh. So, uh, great uh, story there, and uh, actually, uh, he plays power soccer. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I got some friends that play that. What team? What? What team? Well, I don't know. They just started playing right now. Okay, it's, it's a great thing. A team yet. We cover the Power Soccer Nationals, so. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's a little bit of luck there. They got Wimmergren in. Uh, which one is that? That's uh, Matt. One of the. And his brother plays uh, defense. That's yeah, and Holmquist is in too. Great name, Holmquist. I know a goalie that the Lightning used to have with the name Holmquist from Sweden. Yeah. So. You got a name like that, you got to play hockey. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. <laughs> so far, this game is 1 0, and Selecta trying to get. Oh! Falconer just missed it, and it was put out in front, and that could have been a big one. Those two players really play well together. Like, they know where the other one's going to be, it seems. So they're giving a few guys a rest in here. They're giving Peterson and. Uh, oh, look at this. Chris puts it up. Oh, just wide. Is, it, is the idea that it throws some new bodies at them, or what is it? What do you think the reason about having all these substitutions by the uh, stars? Um, I think just give a different look. Uh, they're, most of their players they have are pretty equal in, in ability, so like they just bring different things to the table so the other team can't get so comfortable. Because really, the only player that stays out the whole time is Chris Cram. Uh, yeah, he's, he's you can see he's the mainstream mainstay of the team. And, but uh, I'm just going to just say. Uh, Jacob Holmquist is another person who started playing in a, a high school adaptive program, which is something that you see in Minnesota. But uh, go ahead. Uh, we had a nice uh, opportunity there, but it was a little high. Up, up top, man! Up okay. top! You can hear some yelling going on. Yeah, Big D likes to yell. <laughs> Big D. But uh, you were saying, I'm sorry we interrupted you there. Come on. And it is a chance there for Cram if he could do oh, something with spin? it. Back shot blocked by Nathan, and it's still floating around out there. And it looks like oh, Little Green coming to it, and it's out in front. If they can push it through, they could get a shot there. But all of a sudden, there's a lot of red jerseys in there blocking them out. Good defense, and it clears it down. And there's a reason the defending champions is that defense. And uh, Josh Wimmergren, and oh, so both brothers are in at the same time. Josh on defense and Matt on offense. Yeah, it's, we got a set of brothers on our team as well. Uh, Joe and Dan Hughley. And yeah, the Hughley, uh, I saw them. Steve's sister, Jen, on some plays on our team yeah. as well. So, right, and, and they play together normally. Normally, they play together. Yep, uh huh, that's Saturdays, yo. Oh, well, you know, this, this is a, a, a tough sport. But, and if you have that chemistry with somebody that you know what they're going to be thinking or doing, it can really be a big advantage. Yeah, oh, that's out in front! And oh! They whistled it dead. I don't know what was the call there, but... It really takes some time to establish that uh, chemistry with someone, like, took me about 
two years to finally establish some chemistry with some of my teammates. So key. I'm not sure what that call was, but uh, they're going to have a face-off in front of the, uh, the net there. And this could be a important thing. I think it might have been a save. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. Dead ball. And Anthony Nelson just came over uh, right near us to watch the game. Yeah, he's a great young player. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember playing against him in 2006. And he was a good player then, but in these two years, he's really improved. Uh, he'll be a force of record within a few yeah. years. They got some good young. They got some good young guys on that team. Uh, I think they're going to be a team you're not going to yeah. want to face in the next tournament. Okay, Jeff Bolton. It's out there, and here comes the stars. Looks like uh, he's got his leg hanging out there. I don't know if that's what his plan was. Big, big Matt. That could be dangerous. He should get that leg back in. They should call that. Yeah, he, he plays with the leg out a lot, and it kind of. First time I played against him, it kind of scared me. Like, I just don't want to hurt the guy, but yeah. he's never gotten hurt yet, so I, he might be pretty good oh, at I'll tell you what, I would, I, if I was the officials, I wouldn't let him do that. I'm sorry, that's yeah. too easy to get hurt. And I definitely agree. That's why nobody, like, I know some people play without four rest, but that's different. Oh. It's not hanging out in the middle of everything. Like, yeah. whatever advantage he thinks it gives him, I guess. I don't know, but not, not, not uh, but Falconer there with a nice uh, backslash shot there, but it just didn't get a chance. Mike trying to do something for his team. Blocked by his old man there, I think. Looks like his shot was blocked by uh, Sean there. They're playing some good defense here. Great defense. A minute left in the uh, first period, and this is still anybody's game. It's only a one goal game, yeah. Nathan's doing great out there. Jacob, get in there. Don't let him hit. Here's our. All right, a shot again. And Mr. Wimbledon, uh, Josh gets a hold of that and grabs it in the corner. And I can't see it right now. I've got a little blockage going on. <laughs> there it comes in on the left side. Oh, the Falcon. Right now. Yeah. They're really, about 20, really well blocking everything. 20 seconds left. And if they can clear it out of here, they will be very happy right now. And they have done it, and they are out of time just about. And that is going to just about end it right here. And after the end of one period, it's a Calgary select with that one goal. And there's none for the stars, and so we've had a great game, and we'll be right back in just a short minute for the second period of this exciting play.